Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about what to do if people hate your art. I know, unbelievable, but sometimes we do get the odd hater. So I thought I'd talk about what you can do to help and make you feel not so bad if it happens to you. Also, in the corner of this video there's going to be a speed paint of this painting, my most recent work. Let me just go off camera so you can see. Um, and this piece is entitled Tell Me More. There are stickers and other things available uh, with this picture on it uh, in my little shop below on Redbubble so please check it out if you're interested and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for all your likes and great comments as always and let's begin. Now I know that many people would have experienced this where you're walking along having a fantastic day all of a sudden you open up your account and somebody's written your art is rubbish or <laughs> I actually never had that one specifically, but I've had variances on, you know, you draw like a two-year-old. Uh, well, the thing is, um, I always find that comments tend to be divided into two. There's the people who just write really rude things, and then there's other people who write rude things disguised as constructive criticism. The way to deal with these types of mean comments, I think, and this is the way that I deal with them. I used to straight away delete them, and then... I used to block that person and although that can be a good way of just never thinking about it again I have come to do a different strategy which is now I just leave the comment there if it's really really mean I will block the person because I think that that's what they deserve <laughs> um, but I do recommend uh, not actually going onto their channel and then writing something mean on their videos. I've never done that, although I have only once done something that I do regret, and that is I did actually go on someone's channel because they wrote a huge rant of hatred online, and it was all specifically directed at my art. And I went on their channel and then I disliked one of their videos. And then I thought afterwards, <laughs> That, that was one of the most stupid things and completely pointless and I think they knew it was me because then they went and I think they disliked one of my videos and so after that happened I thought to myself well this is just completely pointless are we just going to sit here disliking each other's videos is that going to be like a dislike war and I thought it was not constructive in any way whatsoever and it was not positive so once you've ignored the comment or deleted it depending on which one you prefer I would then just do something really positive if it's any consolation I do have a lot of comments on my videos and some of them a very small minority have been negative and the ones that have been really negative I've been on their channels and some of them have been artists and I wouldn't say that they were in a position to criticize <laughs> anyone so if you like it's a way of rationalizing and thinking about it logically quite often people who go around writing negative mean things are often in a really sad place in their life like they may not be happy with the way that their life is going and what they're doing so they're taking out their frustrations and their anger on somebody else just as an additional note there are some people who spam quite a lot again this is a little bit of a rare thing but it does happen sometimes they're not actually writing mean comments but they're sort of like haters in their own way <laughs> like they're sort of taking up your time by constantly bombarding you with silly stuff spammers i do think that you should block those people as well because otherwise they'll just spam you <laughs> into eternity what do you do if people hate your art and they're in your family or they are your friends so obviously with family it's very difficult because you cannot get away from family <laughs> I certainly don't think you should uh, stop talking to your family if they're like this but I think if there's a member of your family that is always saying oh putting down your art oh I really don't think you should bother you're not any good or perhaps they want you to change your medium or do something different why, why are you doing watercolour, you should be doing oil, or say if you do oil they think it's a dying art form, you should be doing something else, or maybe they just hate your art in general. So I don't think that you should engage too much in arguments. I think artists are always, most of the time, very sensitive. It helps us a lot, being sensitive creates such a great opportunity because you can react to everything that's going on around you. So that's great in a way, but to handle negativity is generally quite hard for artists, I think. I would say to agree with them and say, well, yes, you're right, 
I am just trying to improve or uh, maybe I will try that medium in the future and if they say things directed towards your art career like I think being an artist is pointless and you're never going to make any money you could agree with that and say well it's true not many people make a ton of money being artists but it's possible to make a living. When it comes to friends hating on your art, I think that that's slightly easier to deal with. Of course it still hurts if somebody says that in a roundabout way that they think your art is not very good or they compare you to another artist and say they're way better than you. It does make you feel bad and you question your friendship and your entire existence. But I think the best thing to do is just to record it and then think well I, I, I remember what you said and then just make sure that you don't bring up your art and your fun art stuff in front of them too much then that, that way it protects you and you don't have to deal with their negativity on your art choices and your artwork and they lose out because they don't get to share in that amazing side to you but at the same time there are some friends where they're not always there because they necessarily support us they're just people who you can have fun with but unfortunately not everyone is going to support your career choices or your career itself it's just say i'm so lucky with friends because a lot of my friends are creative anyway so they don't say negative things they're extremely positive i did have one friend though a while ago she wasn't so close a friend but she did make this a slightly sly comment that my art was a bit amateur <laughs> and I was quite shocked and it's funny because up until that point she never said anything mean to me and I think that it just shows sometimes you can't please everyone so finally I want to talk about what should you do if an art critic hates your art now this is something that I thought I would include because I've had a kind of experience a little funny story and this is what not to do so when I'm talking about art critic I obviously mean somebody who works for a blog or a magazine or perhaps an online newspaper or even somebody that you meet if you're exhibiting in a gallery who is an art critic one day I was wandering across the internet looking for art opportunities and I came across this guy who looked at people's art and gave some constructive feedback and then he ran this competition where he would pick the best artworks. I think he did it every month or every three months. So I thought, well this is great, I'll just submit my work and then I can get my work in his blog and get some feedback as well. So, you know, win-win, it would be fantastic. So I didn't really read too much about the terms and conditions or what type of work had happened before, what he did on a regular basis, how he actually went about reviewing these artworks, I just thought he's probably going to say something really nice in my naive way. So, <laughs> so I submitted my artwork and then I waited and I actually forgot about it because I was too busy doing other things. And then I went on his blog because I think I got an email saying, you know, your work has been reviewed and it's up on the blog. So I got really excited and I went on the blog and to my horror, uh, this was his comment. I was expecting, when you think about art criticism, I was expecting some quite in-depth analysis about what he thought of the colours that I used and my technique and all this type of thing. But he actually wrote something along the lines of, I can't remember the exact words, but it was something along the lines of, this is so bad that it's not even worth commenting on. <laughs> and the art that I submitted was one of my best um, works. I still think it's really good, the thing that I submitted. So this triggered me on all kinds of different levels and I did the thing that you should never ever do. I should have just read it and thought, okay, let me read his other criticisms of other people which I then did actually and mine was probably one of the most harsh and I should have just done that and then just left the conversation but I decided to reply because I saw that there was a box <laughs> that said leave a comment and this is what you should never do I, <laughs> I started to read up a little bit about this guy who was the judge of this and I said something like how, what would you know you're a nerd or something? 
which you should know I mean it was so stupid and I should never have said that so then even worse I started to get lots of replies from people who were regular visitors to his blog saying I was wrong and I should just uh, accept his comments so it ended up being this big argument on his blog I actually didn't reply after that very much because I realized that I had made a mistake and I should have just taken the criticism and thought well he doesn't like my work that's okay he's entitled to his opinion and I should have just left uh, so I did do that in the end but I do really regret having um, you know had such a silly response to his opinion and he was right he was he was right to have an opinion I mean there's nothing wrong with that so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you found it helpful uh, just remember that you are really talented you are super creative you will achieve your dreams and don't give up and I will see you again very soon take care guys